Today I'm going to show you a few exercises that will help you to boost your vertical A strong jump. vertical jump is not only important for sports like volleyball and basketball, but also for activities like parkour and jumping over obstacles. Today I'm going to show you proper form and technique for each exercise so we can do them effectively and safely. I will also give you a routine which will help you progress every single and week and will help you to hit your ceiling with your head. First exercise which is gonna improve your vertical jumps is knee jumps. Stand with your knees on the floor, jump into a squat position and then as high as you can, landing softly on the balls of your feet. Make sure to keep your back straight and your core engaged. The next one is lunge knee ups. Start in your lunge position with one foot forward and one foot back. This exercise targets your legs, glutes and core to improve your explosive power and vertical jump. The next one is two swing ups. Stand with your feet hip width apart and move to the tips of your toes, pretending a jump movement. Going right to the next one, which is plank knee ins. Starting in plank position with your hands under your shoulders and your body in a straight line. Bring one knee toward your elbows, then return to the plank position. This exercise targets your core, which helps you to improve your stability and balance. The next one is pike frog hope. Starting in pike position with your hands and feet on the ground, your hips high in the air. Jump your feet toward your hands and jump back to the pike position. This exercise also targets with your legs, glutes and core, which helps you with your explosive power and vertical jump. The next one looks like an easy one, but it actually not. And this is squat stretch. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your toes pointing forward. Lower your hips as slow as you can. This exercise targets your legs and glutes to help improve your overall leg strength and power. Wait by the end of this video, cause then I'll tell you how long you should spend on each of these exercises to make the most benefits from them. And the next one is squat jumps. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your toes pointing forward. Lower your body as if you were sitting back into a chair, then jump explosively as high as you can. Land softly on the balls of your feet and repeat. And this is where your legs will be on fire. The next one is pretty hard one. It's lunge step jumps. Start in a lunge position with one foot forward and one foot back. Make a step forward, keep your legs together and jump as high as you can. Make sure to keep your core engaged and your chest up. The next one is rotational jumps. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your toes pointing forward jump up explosively, turning 180 degrees in mid-air, land softly on the balls of your feet and repeat. This exercise targets your legs, glutes and core. Now that you have seen all of these exercises, let's create a routine. I recommend you to do these exercises 2-3 times per week for best results. Do each of these exercises for 30 seconds with about 10 seconds of rest. You can use this workout for your legs day, cause after this workout your legs will be on fire. And this is exactly what you should do on your legs day. And in case you still don't know why, you should train legs and why is keeping your legs stay make you lose muscles of your overall body not only legs then make sure to check out this video where i'm telling why you should always do your legs stay and how legs training affect your muscle gain and i'm not saying goodbye because i'll see you in this video definitely make sure to check it out i'll see you there stay strong